everybody and welcome to the flute practice. It is day 18 of our practice series and today we are going to be having some fun with harmonics. So let's go check it out. <laughs> I have spoken about this briefly in a, I think my warming up video. The flute is built basically on the harmonic series. So even our like high register fingerings are really basically just harmonics of lower fingerings. So uh, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fingering a low C and we're going to be bringing those lips forward, we're going to be closing the hole, the aperture slightly, and we're going to be raising that air stream, increasing the support and the air speed to get to the next harmonic. So, you can see how my lips move forward there and raising that air stream, we get that next harmonic, which is exactly an octave higher. Then we do the same thing again, just a little bit more to get to the next harmonic. we should get G. So that's the next note in our harmonic series. Um, and we are really feeling those different positions. It's really like the air goes there, there for those different harmonics. So next G, then we're gonna go to the next one again, same thing, blowing a bit harder, bringing those lips forward, raising that airstream. Uh, what note should that be? C again, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm also busy figuring out what notes these actually are. So, get that next harmonic, so... The next one... E... And then the last one, sometimes it's a bit tricky to get, some days I can do it better than others. <laughs> By then, sometimes you have to really overblow. Um, with a bit of practice, I do find I find them a little bit more clearly. But basically, okay, we're just getting the full spectrum of these harmonics and moving between them. Once you kind of get comfortable with this, you can start jumping between harmonics. So jumping from maybe... So I want to jump to the G. So I'm skipping over one of the harmonics. And then... So I'm doing that one, so I'm just skipping over the G harmonic. And then the next, we're going from the G harmonic. And it's really great because we're really testing those positions and that our lips know exactly where those positions are. Um, this is going to require a very nice flexible embouchure, really flexibility, being able to move those lips backwards and forwards, which is why this exercise is so great. If this moving, you know, skipping over harmonics like this is still a little bit challenging for you, don't worry, just stick with the basic harmonics, just, just stick with exploring those feelings, those positions, those different notes, seeing how high and low you can go on the instrument, well not low. I suppose just seeing how high you can go with these harmonics. If you're really getting good at them, you can also start like making up your little melodies, you know, really, but doing it like consciously and willfully, not just somehow willy-nilly playing through whatever notes come happen to come under your finger or under your lips in this case. So For example, maybe even write them down, actually write down little melodies for yourself for the harmonics and try and play them to really make sure you are in control of what you are doing. This is a lot of fun actually as an exercise, it's you know really cool. Um, you can also do harmonics of course on other notes, you can do it on C sharp, you can do it on C, if you've got a low B you can do it on the B. Of course the lower on the flute you are, the easier they are to play, the harmonics come a little bit more easier. When you start like on G for example, the harmonics, and of course the first octave essentially is just the harmonic which is D so here you can see the fingerings are really just altered harmonic fingerings of these notes 
which is really, which, you know, I think when you understand that this is how the flute works and that we're really just altering a lot of these high octave fingerings from harmonic fingerings to make them sound a bit better, it really helps. Uh, because we understand then why certain like going from, from G to D is quite tricky because they're on the same harmonic wavelength and A to E is famously difficult. So uh, G you will hear. <laughs> you can't do quite as many harmonics before it starts getting quite tricky. But actually always a good idea to practice, especially uh, I recently had a subscriber who said I'd mentioned that practicing interval jumps with harmonics is a really great idea. And it, it really is because for the A to the E, It's helping get that lip position in place and when you put then those fingers down it should really just help rather than kind of like make it more difficult and hinder you so it's just a really really nice way to practice our intervals as well so harmonics just great for a lot of stuff so have fun with them and i will see you tomorrow for the next day of this awesome practice series happy practicing and see you then